I wanted to be a lawyer. I wanted to be an engineer. I wanted to play football. I wanted to travel. Sometimes I wanted to play music. And then I realized if I become an actor, I can do all of that. I joined a gifted and talented program uh, in New Orleans when it first started, and I actually had to be bused to a white neighborhood. This is early, mid-1970s. And I was watching on television the busing in Boston. And I remember asking my mother, you know, am I gonna be attacked just for going to school? And she said, there's some people that don't have your best interests at heart. We'll take care of that, you make sure you do your work. So I was at Benjamin Franklin High School in New Orleans for half the day. The other half of the day, I went to New Orleans Center for Creative Arts. So I was there in high school with Wenton Marcellus and Bradford Marcellus and Harry Connick Jr. and Donald Harrison and Terrence Blanchard. That was, there was this constant competition and challenge. So then it really prepared you for when you took that leap to when I first came to New York at 17 to go to Juilliard. Out of the thousands of people that applied, only 19 people were in my class. Uh, I was prepared for that. What I wasn't ready for, which was eye-opening, was Crown Heights in Brooklyn. And oh, that just, oh, just hearing people on their stoops, playing their music, you know, having roti for the first time, but then coming to Juilliard and being in this austere, austere sort of classical training program, and it kind of gave me the best of both worlds. And that kind of set me on a path to realizing that um, diversity was going to be key to what I do. I remember an audition I did with Bob Fosse. And I was a young actor just getting out of school, really, and uh, walked in, and I kind of, oh, I was nailing. And, and I threw the stage manager off. He couldn't keep up with the scene. And Bob Fosse came from around the table and said, give me the script. I'll do it with you. And I was nailing. Oh, I was killing it. I worked on it hard. I knew I was, I knew I was really nailing the moment. He said, man, you're good at the end of it. You're really good. He said, we got to find something for you. You're really good. He said, but you're too young for this. I said, that's all right. I got a chance to read with Bob Fosse. And uh, he called my agent. He said, I'm going to work with Wendell this year. Guaranteed. That was beautiful. And he died a couple of months later. And everyone told me, oh, what a missed opportunity. I said, no, no, man, you have to realize that's an opportunity I had to share my work with Bob Fosse and vice versa. And that taught me, you know, it's just about the work. There's four stages to the actor's career. Who is Wendell Pierce? Get me Wendell Pierce. Get me a young Wendell Pierce. And then who is Wendell Pierce? And I'm prepared for who is Wendell Pierce because I'll be able to answer that for myself. <laughs>